Hello good guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be teaching you how to create a Django project and run that project using the development server. So let's get started. So file explorer or you can use the, you know, any kind of uh, command prompt also. You can go see and do it if you comfortable. You can use the command prompt and navigate through that, you know. You can use the CD, OneDrive, why OneDrive because I know my system. OneDrive, CD, desktop. Might be guys for you this 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 configuration will be different. This navigation according to my computers. In the desktop, I can see different kind of files are there. I can create a here CLS. Let me clean MKDIR. I can create a project called the you know the you can say Django projects. This is one projects that I can accommodate a different Django project from make directory. You can see DIR, you can see a Django project have been created here. Can you see here? Django project. This is a for previous folder. This is the one I have created just now. And you can go see the Django D Django projects. The one you have created, you can see DIR, nothing is there, is empty. Can you see there? Nothing is there. So why you can do this way also, or if you are not feeling let me clean the CLS, clean the screen. If you are not feeling comfortable, you can go like this also. You can go your choice of directory, local is D, E, F, whichever directory you choose. For me, I have only local disk C, so I will go JVC and desktop. I can go right click, new folder. I can create a new folder. I can give the Django any that project name you want to give that project which you can accommodate any kind of projects or projects. Django projects here you can see. So here I'm going to you can create like this also and it will be available. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the one I have created just now in front of you. So I can I have created here, guys. So you can see I was there. So now here I can go to the Django framework. So I am here. So now I have navigated up to here. But if you don't know how to go, so you can if even you can open this one. Suppose I, let me close and let me open CMD. When you open this one, you know you are somewhere else at the default. You know the working directly. But I want to when I open the command prompt that I want to be in the project. So how to do that? So we can close this. We can go to the file explorer. We can go to Django framework. Can you see this is the file folder I have created in the desktop in the Django. Click there and go there. Select all. Write CMD. Click here. Then you will see you are at your project directory. Can you see here? Everything automatically. You can do that one. Is a very easy way to reach to the you know working directory project directory so now here we are going to write d django minus admin see the django admin django have a different kind of sub commands so we are going to is star you know we are going to use the start projects we'll use the start project we'll use this sub command so we are going to let me write the cls fine we're writing here d django admin start project and your project so i can write my my django simply any name that you can give django project one and enter you can see dir your django pro dir to display the directory and files django one project has been created even you can navigate you can check from here in the browser in this one when you go back to the desktop so Django projects, you can see my Django project has been created. Click on this inside that you will find one more folder which is the same as a Django project one and manage.py. Manage.py is very important guys because this is the one will help us to you know to do many things to create a model to run the server to run the development servers etc. You can go inside this you will find we have a settings because of we have created Django project we have a URLs. We will learn all this file about the file structure in the coming video. In this video, we just I am trying to explain you how to create a Django project and how to run it. So let's go back to here in the uh, command prompt. So we are here. So now when we are going to run here, suppose I'm writing here Python manage because I told you we have created here manage, you know, so manage dot is there. So let me do it here manage dot py space a project name what is your project uh, no run server run server we are running the server so when you click here you know something is here 
Python cannot open this file, blah, 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 no such file or directory. What they are saying, because you are talking about the minus dot py. So look at this, go to there. Minus dot py is under the my Django project one. No, not under the, not under this one. You can go to the desktop, Django project. Under the Django project is inside the my Django projects. This is another project called the my Django projects one. Inside the my Django project one, we have a minus dot py. So what we need to go, we need to navigate here. See, we need to go one more down. So we can write cd, this one. We go there, we can copy this, paste it here. Now we are here. Now we can write here the same command python minus dot py. So just let me let me display you one dir to confirm. You can see in this file we have a minus dot py. In this project we have a minus dot py. So allow me to clean guys cls to clean the screen and then use the same python minus dot py that runs server. When you run the server, you can see they are running the server starting development server. See starting development server at this port this link so we are going to copy paste this one copy right click go to the browser and paste it this paste it here run it this is this install works successfully your django framework you know the your django project has been created and is working very fine so guys you can look at this you have a uh, this is your local host uh, ip address which is 127.0.0.1, which is reserved for the local host IP address. And this 8000 is your port number. So you know it can happen that you are running the different kind of application in your same computer, like uh, Angular, Node.js, uh, uh, MySQLs, etc. And Apache, uh, many kind of application you are running on the. So it can happen that many application or some of the application are using the same kind of port. So they are called the port conflictions. So if this port confliction can happen, you can also choose change this port number. So how will change this port number? Let me show you how to change the port number. So let's go to the command prompt. Again, we are going to, you know, here. So here exit control C, I exit from there. Not fine. So let me go here and write here. Let us go there and write here. Run server space might be 55,000 run this one. Look at this now. This is your new port, so we are going to copy this one. You can see the port number, new port number. I am going to ref. So now you can see in this port number also you are working. Can you see the here the port number, fifty five hundred. So this is the way we can change the port number, guys. So thank you, guys. This video was just to create a, a Django project and show you how to run the development server. So now your project is running. In the next video, I will teach you to what is the setting, what is the manage.py, what is the URLs, etc. So, see you next video.